my testimony choosing. Can you help me sing it? I don't know it. Sing it. Let yeah. me see. <laughs> my testimony choosing. My testimony choosing. People we see, they we hear. My testimony choosing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I am happy, but I don't know how to sing very well. That is my problem. Mm. But I believe God or choosing will perfect it for me. Put it part of your prayer points in this program. We will hear your testimony. Yes. My testimony goes like this. I want to thank the God of choosing for delivering me from spirit of death from my family. Thank you, Father. Tell us your name and your, where, you, where you are coming from and the time you came to choosing. Overjoy, please. My name is Jennifer Kisi. I joined choosing 2019. I thank God for making me and my family a choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. My testimony goes like this. I thank the God of choosing for delivering me from the spirit of death. It all started in 20, 2000, and 2000. I lost my mother and my family, my father, of a poison. Hmm. So after my father and my mother died, my elder brother followed. Hmm. We don't know the reason. Within two months, my elder sister followed. Hmm. It was coming to hit me. Then I have to run away from my hometown. So after running away from my own town, nobody yelled on me. And I take my younger one. We just enter Ghana without knowing anybody. Because of the fear of the death. So when I stay in Ghana, like two years, I've, God has blessed me. I've got a husband and married. and have kids. So after that, to cut the whole story short, 2020, December last, uh, 2020, December 27, I went to my hometown because my father died and lived some plots. I did not know that because of the land that all my family, they were wiping away just because of the four plots. So when I went to my hometown, I buy a trip of sand and put on that land. After putting the sand, my father's brother called me, that why did you put sand on that land? I said, it's my father's land. He said, it's your father's land. Do you know what kill your mother? Do you know what kill your father? Do you know what take your siblings, three of your siblings? I say I don't know, and I don't want to know what I know. Is that land? He said, okay. If you don't know, I will tell you what kill your mother and your father. We soon hit you. I said, I reject it. I am a choosing. You cannot kill me. He said, what is choosing? I said, you will soon find out what is choosing. Mm. Thank you, Father. Mm. So, to call the whole story short, I from my hometown, they entered Lagos. That was 2023, last year. The program, I was in the crusade here. After we finished the crusade, that very Sunday, I wanted to go back. Then I did not follow the bus that bring people from Ghana. So I was going short, short uh, road. So I crossed to a flower around 1 a.m. I enter car, and I was the first person in that salon car. So, shortly after that, a man was coming to enter the car, and he was using clutches. The man came to me that, please, my daughter, sit at the back. I want to sit in on this year because my leg is pending me. I said, okay. But before I will leave the seat, 
a hand hit my shoulder. I did not see anybody. I turned around, I did not see anybody. So I get up and carry my bag. I go behind the man. So around 2.30, we move. On our way going to Accra, the car, a, a, there's a moving trailer. Our car, the salon car that I was inside. So he ran under the trailer. Oh. Seriously, I was, when he was running on the track, I was shouting, I am a choosing, God of my pastor's power. Deliver me from this accident. Don't let this wicked man win this battle. Then pe the people I was at the back with, they started shouting, God of our pastor, deliver us. Then they hold my apron. When I hold my apron, started shouting. Then they hold my apron, the two people at the back with me, mm. we started shouting. Calling God of choosing. So the car was entering the trailer, under the trailer. When he get to where we stop, where we were sitting, the hot is stopped, the car quenched, the trailer off. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. So after that, even the doors, nobody believed that somebody will survive in that accident. The man who came and asked me to sit at the back, die at the spot. Oh. And the driver. So we at the back, nothing happened to us. Mm. Only a sky that the glass just took my uh, face. Apart from that, I was sound. So I'm returning this glory. Let's to clap God on to God of choosing for sparing her life. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. For saving my life. If not this God of choosing, this my uncle will win the battle. And it's not even stop. Because that very day, he called my younger sister that uh, I died of motor accident in Ghana. And nobody called him that something or such happened. So he told my younger sister to prepare some seats. We are getting a visitor. They are getting a visitor. So my younger sister said, my sister cannot die. She said, choosing. She can't, you can't kill her the way you kill our parents. He said, okay, let her be there. So my sister called my number and I picked the call. I said, yes. She said, oh, uh, our younger father said that you are dead. I said, no, I am not dead. But somebody must die. That person must be him. We must do a funeral in that family. But he will go. So when my sister tell him that I am not dead, he said, I am not yet free. He must complete his mission. Hmm. So I thank this God of choosing for saving me from that evil man's hand. I'm returning the glory to him. Let's clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. My second testimony goes like this. A year 2020, there's a man who came to my house. I say land. So the man came to buy a plot from me. When he came to my house, he saw uh, the sticker of choosing in my house. This man became angry. I don't know the reason why he was angry. But then he have already paid for the land and even started building the land. So after two months, the man come to me that, can I stop going to choosing? I say, why? He said he don't like choosing. He tried to brainwash me and say a whole sort of nonsense against choosing. But I keep on telling him that this is where I want to worship. So the wife came to me that he don't like this thing that I'm doing. His husband is trying to save me from the hand of choosing, but I don't want. So she tried to convince me again she couldn't. So, we started doing house care in my house. One day, the woman came to my house. That is, after that, they built and party. Then the battle started. The woman came to me that he's telling me this thing. 
He don't want choosing in this area because they are opening church there and they don't want any distraction. I tell the woman, you have the God you worship. I have the one I watch. This God I choose, I will worship him. So if you have your own, you can go ahead and worship your own. And I did not stop you not to open your own church. This man was angry with the woman, not knowing that they went far to kill me. So after some months, this man stopped talking to me. If I greeted him, he would not answer. Ah, I went to him, uh, brother, why are you not responding for my greeting? He said he don't want, it's not by force. So okay, I came back. So after two months, I was in the house. I was hearing cry in the man's house. He came out, what is happening? The man's wife died. Mm. I did not know that the woman died because he was trying to kill me and that arrow let her go back to her. Mm. 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 So I went to the man, I called my husband, please come let us go and pay them a corner visit. Not knowing that the man was waiting for me. When I get to his house, the man sat me and my house, husband. That he don't want to see us here. I am the one who killed his wife. So I am coming to confirm whether the woman died through. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. But it did not go well with my husband. My husband said, this is an allegation. We will take this matter to police. I said, no. Let's allow God to complete this battle. I know there's a battle that God is fighting for me. So I came back and told the God of choosing that you are my father. There's nothing hidden before you. The thing that the man is hidden, please let it come to open. As I make the prayer, after three months, the man called me. I was passing to somewhere. The man called me that please, he want to talk to me. I stand. The man said, he is sorry for what happened. His wife was the one that was trying to kill me hmm. because of a, a church that wants to bring it in to my father. That is the place we stay. So what the, 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 the juju man give the wife, that is what killed the woman. Oh. And he was trying to call my name and that is let us strike her. Hmm. 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 It was the husband of the dead woman that was telling you this thing. Yes, the husband of the woman was confessing oh. that even him is not free because any time he sleep, he saw me chasing him with a cutlass. Hey. So he have to confess. So I should forgive him. So I told him I have no grudges against you. God who fight this battle for me will still fight if you continue with your evil deed. So I am returning the same glory to the God of choosing for serving me for several attempts in my life. So this person that died was, the family was trying to stop you from coming to choosing. Yes. But God of choosing has struck that woman dead. Yes. And the husband now is being tormented even by you. He said he sees you in the dream carrying cutlass and pursuing him. Yes. Wow, what a torment. So Let's... I'm returning the glory to the God of choosing. Only him can do this. No any other God. And I'm happy knowing this God of choosing. I want you to confirm this information that came to me. That time you went to put land, sand in that land that uncle said was the result of your fathers and the death of your siblings. I learned you have built house on that land now. Come again. I learned you have built house on that land, they said. Yes, the I built the land and my younger brother is in that house. 
What happened is, and I also learned that that your uncle that was threatening you is bedridden now. Is it true? Hello. I learned that they gave me information that that your uncle that was threatening you that he is bedridden now. Yes. When what happened was, I sent people to go and build the land. So he stopped there. Then I have to take people from Ghana to go and build the land. So before they will go. I connect them with a pastor in my hometown. So they pray and take a, a apron, put in that land, and they start a building. So when they get to the window level, then he came to apply his uh, evil. Then something struck him. Then he fell down and I started shouting that I shoot him a spiritual gun. Uh. <laughs> wow. Was it your uncle that was saying this thing? Yes, my uncle said that I shoot him a spiritual gun. Hmm. So the people around the place, they came to help him and remove him from the house. When they carry him to his house, the following day, his first make like uh, they put some uh, hot water on him. Oh. So they took him to our elders uh, in my village. So one of the elders called me that... There's a case against me here that one of my uncle said that I shoot him a spiritual gun. <laughs> so I told them that they should ask him where was he before the spiritual gun shot him. Mm. So when they asked him, he said that that land belongs to him. Because of that land, he killed all my parents and my siblings. Mm. And I want to take that land just like that. He can't allow it. Then I said, that same spiritual gun is still waiting for you in that land. Yeah. Anytime you go there, he will still shoot you. <laughs> Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. So up to now, he cannot go to, you cannot go outside by himself unless you have support. Oh. And he cannot pass urine. He cannot eat normal unless you fed him through a uh, light food. Oh. So I return the glory to God. Clap unto God or choosing the man of war. Thank you, Father. My thought this morning, this is the last one. There's a brother who they deport from the uh, U.S., so the brother came to Ghana because he traveled to U.S. from Ghana. So when they deported the brother, somebody came to me that uh, we have said, this thing, uh, your state brother is in Ghana here. I said, oh, my state brother, since I'm in Ghana 20-something years, I never see my direct language in Ghana. So I was happy with joy that I see someone who I can speak language with. So I went to the brother and we discussed the bro we started our friendship the brother will visit us we will visit the family until one day i don't know that the brother is a confirmed yahuma until one day my my sister who based in us he wanted the land so he said that he will send the money to me to uh, keep the land for her so i said okay but the money cannot go through money grant, and I don't have U.S. account. So I approached the brother, call not him, knowing call, that. Call him a man. Don't call him brother. I approached the man. I approached the man, mm -hmm. not knowing that the man is a confirmed Yahoo man. He was even happy. Quickly, give me the account. I send it to my sister. My sister sent fourteen thousand oh. dollars inside the account. So from there, they said that he came to me and we discussed. He said, oh, Is the money? He said, No. That's why he came to inform me that the money is not yet in. From there, he collected my phone that he wants to uh, remove some number from his phone. Not knowing that he was diverting my calls from my phone to his own. Oh. The child that will be chatting with my sister will be going to his phone. I don't know. So my sister sent the money. This same man came to me and used the money to buy land from me. 
and started building immediately. But if I send message to my sister, she will not respond. So I believe she never sent the money. Now I know that the money get to his account and he used that same money to come and buy land with me. So he built this house finish and do some things that he's supposed to do. So he packed into the house. He continued telling me that he did not see that money over one year. I don't know. So one day, I was, I said, let me go and meet this man. When I get to him, he said, well, my brother, are you sure my sister did not send this money? He said, no, he did not send the money. A friend of his called me that they have sent the money. That is the money he used to buy land with you and build and it's inside that land now. So take action. I say no. I don't have enough proof. Then I go on my knees. I remember that my God is a final answer. There's nothing he cannot do. The God of choosing. I go back to the God of choosing. I kneel down and pray that God of my pastor's power I am confused now. If indeed the money entered the man's account and he used it for the land, please bring something that will make this man confess. And that soul, give me strength to win that soul. I want to win that soul. Because if this soul continues to be outside, he will destroy a lot of life. Give this man to me to win. In any condition, I am ready to follow and win this soul. I leave. After two months, the wife fell sick, serious sick. So they went land. After that, that man just keep malice with me. If I greeted him, he would not answer. So when the wife sick, he did not see anywhere to go. God had chosen to bring him to my house. And he was knocking. I come out, say his wife is dying. I say your wife will not die in Jesus' name. I went out, pick the wife, go to the hospital. I even give my blood to the wife. So we saved the, the life of the, the woman through my God, the God of choosing. So after that, the woman started to become troubled. She cannot hide the secret again. She came to me. Please, my sister, we are A to you, but forgive me. That money, your sister sent that money. My husband used the money and built this house we are staying inside. Hmm. And he don't want you to know. Please, use wisdom and follow him. But the judge is just the truth. You save my life because your blood is in me now. If I think any evil against you, God will not forgive me. So I don't want to be party to that again. I say, no problem. I approach that man again. This is what your wife said. He said he's a woman who knows what he's saying. For him, he don't know that. I say, okay. I came back again and said, God of my pastor's power, the God of choosing, let me win this soul. I don't even need the money again. That soul, I must win it. And the God of choosing show himself that is indeed God of my pastor's power. I was in the house one faithful afternoon. The man came to my house, kneeled down and said he's sorry. He have used that money to build this house. Mm. But since then, he was trying to pick quarrel with me. But he cannot see me and fight. So he want to really serve this God I'm serving. He want to be a born again. How will he start? So I took him to my pastor. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Mm. I took him to my pastor and my pastor do the necessary thing and this man become our member 
in that branch we worship. Now, this man was baptized last year. The batch that baptized last year, he was among them. And even a house care teacher. <laughs> Clap unto this God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. After that, the man returned the land that he, he stole from me. He returned the land and the document. Returned everything, the forged document that he forged. He returned it to me that he want to really serve this God. He don't want to keep that house. So I should take, it belongs to me. Wow. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Are you saying the man, that house he built with your sister's money, he, yes, has returned yes. the, he has returned the house to you? Yes, he returned the house to me. Oh. But I give the house back to him because what I needed was his soul. And I've gotten that soul. Wow. Thank you, Father. Wow. Thank you, God of choosing. So I'm returning the glory to God of choosing. Who make it possible for me? My heart desire has come to pass. I said thank you, thank my you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. I pray for my daddy Gio. Heaven at last. Amen. The man that God is using to save souls like us. I return the glory to him. Amen. He, will, he will grow in this ministry. Nothing will stop that billion souls that is required. Amen. I pray for the choosing pastors. Heaven at last. Amen. I pray for my family. Heaven at last. I pray for all choosing members. Heaven at last. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Now I'd like you to listen to this and let it sink very deep into your heart, into your spirit. 